Cleanup continues at a Macon hotel after days of rain caused flooding. Water flooded first floor rooms and forced more than 100 evacuations. Some of those displaced are calling uh, an American Red Cross shelter home just for the next few days. Ashlyn Webb visited the shelter today. She joins us in studio with more. Yes, the Red Cross opened a shelter just five minutes away from the hotel at Memorial Park Recreation Center on Long Street. That's right off Eisenhower Parkway. So far, about three dozen people are staying there until they get some word from the Economy Hotel. Sitting and waiting for answers. Tracy Zimmer says that's all she can do for now. It was just Wednesday that she was forced to evacuate along with 100 other people due to rising water at the hotel. About halfway on the couch. It was a, a foot or maybe a little bit more. I mean, hell, there was moccasins moccasin? swimming all yeah. over the place. For Zimmer, the hotel was home for nearly three years. That's all I have. I had no words. I mean, you know, I'm on a big skin coming. It's really all I can afford. And, you know, they gave us our money back and stuff on the rooms, but it takes three, it's five to seven business days to go back on the card making it even harder to find a new place to stay. So since Wednesday, Zimmer and Tony Berthelot call a different place home, a shelter down the road from the Economy Hotel. About three dozen other residents also moved into the shelter. Alex Balcom with the American Red Cross says they have caught set up and are feeding these people three meals a day. We're doing some casework already uh, to see if we can't find them a, a permanent solution to their home needs. But Balcom says they'll have to close the shelter Sunday night. I'm worried about scared. I'm pitching to be homeless. I mean, we got to be out of here Sunday. What's going to happen? Balcom says they're trying to move as many people over the Salvation Army as possible before Sunday night. He says it's too soon to say if the Red Cross will open another shelter. Thank you, Ashlyn. Macon Bibb County says that shelter is temporary and only for people displaced from that hotel. If flooding forced you out of your home, you should contact the American Red Cross.